Hey guys, in today's video we'll be taking a look at how you can use your iPad as a second Windows PC monitor. So this will work on Windows 10 or 11. So what we need to do is we need to go to a website called spacedesk.net. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we need to go to display driver software. And if we scroll down here, we need to install the space test driver software for our Windows PC. This is the primary computer and then the iPad will be the secondary machine. So my computer is running Windows 10 and it's a 64 bit. So I'll click on this one and then I'm going to just go through the installation process. If you want to watch the full installation process, you can check out this video up here, which I go through all the steps on how to install it properly, but it's a pretty standard installation. So once Space Desk has been installed on your computer, you then need to go to your app store and search for Space Desk, and then you'll need to install it to your iPad. And so once it's been installed on your iPad, you just want to open it up. And so you'll get this pop up on here saying, this ISO app version can only connect to Space Desk Windows driver. You can download the latest version of the driver, which we've already done. So we can just close that. So now we have the Space Desk driver console installed onto our Windows computer and we have the app on our iPad. And so the next thing you need to do is make sure that your iPad and your Windows computer are connected on the same Wi-Fi. We'll be connecting the iPad to the computer using a Wi-Fi connection. They currently don't support a USB cable connection. They're going to be releasing that soon, but it's just not available just yet. So once they have released that, you'll be able to connect a USB cable from your computer to your iPad and have a cabled connection. But at this stage, we only can do a wireless connection. So make sure your computer and your iPad are on the same Wi-Fi network. And also if you have any trouble connecting, it could also be your antivirus connection blocking um, Space Desk. So you'd need to go to your antivirus and allow Space Desk on that. Or it could also be through your Windows firewall. If you have any trouble with that, if you go onto the Space Desk website, they have documentation on that. So we can see my desktop computer here. And then all we need to do to connect is to select this connection. And so now you can see here it's connecting to the computer. Okay, so now my iPad has connected to my Windows PC. So you can see here we have one active right here. So we know that's all good. So let's see if we have touch. We have touch so we can move the screen around, which is good. So we'll just close that. Um, one thing you might wanna do once you have connected to your iPad is right click on your desktop, go to display settings. And then um, number one is this big monitor here. And then number two, is my iPad. So you sort of want to line this up where your iPad's sitting. So if you have it next to your monitor, put it over here or over here, but mine's sitting directly below it. So I'm going to put it here. And then I also, your default resolution will probably be this one here. So I would up the resolution to the highest possible. It's usually on a hundred percent, but it makes all the icons down here really small. So I've upped mine to 75% resolution just so everything's a little bit bigger. So it's a lot easier when you're using the touch screen. Um, so once you've done that, hit apply. So you can also come in here when you've selected the iPad and scroll down to advanced display settings. And in here you can check your refresh rate. For me, it's only allowing um, 30 Hertz. So I'm not sure if you have a more high end iPad, whether you can get a higher refresh rate, but for me, um, it's only allowing 30 Hertz, which could be standard, I'm not too sure. And also if you are playing any audio on your computer, um, it'll come through your iPad. So if you wanna change that, you just need to go down to your computer's audio settings down here and just change the speaker source. It'll be on Space Desk and you just need to change it to your headphones or your computer speakers. So this does have touch support, but I'm not sure if it has pen support. So if anybody has an iPad pen and you've tested it out, please let everyone know in the comments below whether you can use the pen with your iPad. I know you can with the Android version, so you can do this exact same setup using any Android tablet. I'll also leave the link to that video in the description as well in case you have an Android tablet. With the Android tablets, you can do a wired connection by USB or you can do the wireless connection like this. To disconnect your iPad once you're finished, you just need to click on this 
and then you can go disconnect. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you can use your iPad as a second PC monitor for your Windows computer. And if this video was helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.